What's your minimum specification? If you need a RISC-V core for your solution, head on over to Sci-5. They've got a wide range of vector and performance cores for your solution. This is so big, Sci-5 is one of the players that helps develop the standards for the RISC-V architecture. It's so big, even Intel has skin in this game. Some of the leading AI companies are using Sci-5's cores in their next generation products because they want something that's different to what's out on the market, that they customize for their use case, and something with enough performance to drive home their solution. So if you're interested, head on over to Sci-5.com today. Scale because this is, I mean, it's an enormous, enormous wafer. So yes, this is an 18 inch wafer. Normally in our industry, we talk about 12 inch, 300 millimeter wafers. This is 18 inch, 450 mil, whatever you want to call it. This was meant to be the next generation of silicon production. There was consortia, there were billions of dollars poured into the project to build this, some of it right here in Albany, New York. However, the industry, as it turns out, didn't really want uh, this size wafer. It turns out the economics um, at the time during economic downturn, the, the desire to move to this sort of bigger form factor didn't work. I mean, it makes sense, right? You put more chips on a wafer. Uh, you, if you can yield it, uh, you end up with a lower cost per chip. And realistically, this is where the industry should be going. Uh, and, but the thing is, if they wanted to change today, um, the expertise is there. The expertise has kind of been done. And this is kind of like a wafer to prove it. It's, it's a little bit bendier than a normal wafer. Um, as long as I don't do a Linus, I should be fine. Um, but in order to transfer the market over to these larger wafers, you're talking about trillions and trillions of dollars just in machine, in building the machines to do it. Um, all the infrastructure today is built around 300 millimeter wafers. You are going to rip that out and put a 450 mil machine and there's kind of no uh, infrastructure supply chain around it. That's going to be expensive, and this is why we're kind of still stuck on stuck on 300 millimeters, and we are going to be for the foreseeable future. As I understand it, there are no companies today working on any 450 mil infrastructure. All the tools here that we used at Albany have all been sold, dismantled, trashed, um, and the number of wafers globally that you know that are produced like this, um, it's zero per month and actually wafers that exist. I'm told there may be around 50 out there. This is the one that they have. Um, I don't want to guess how much this wafer costs, right? If we talk leading edge, seven nanometer, five nanometer, that's maybe $20,000 a wafer these days. One of a kind, what price do you put on that? But so if you've heard that 450 mil wafers may be coming or you know they're still in the vision of certain companies, I'm here to tell you they're not. And this may be the largest wafer we see in the industry. I guess one last thing I should do before I put this uh, wafer away in its box, and we'll show some uh, B-roll of the box, is to see how it tastes. This is the only time you'll probably see anyone ever try and take a bite of a 450 mil wafer. Ah. Focusing something that's that close. 